And let me ask you this question, because I think if I'm not tapping on your, uh, on your thoughts and your ideas, I'm not going to achieve my goal. Uh, that's why I'm giving you a hard time, honestly, because very, very flexible. Okay. I understand what you're saying and I understand where you're coming from, building on the fact that you're a good reader and a good speaker of English and Arabic and Farsi, right? So you look at the world from three dimensions. Mm. So you're a 3D person. Our process is divided into many sectors. This is, uh, this is our natural self. You okay. We are here in, in, in Middle East, Iraq. Different. When you say we, you yeah, mean, please, I mean yeah, all, all of us. have you done a survey on all of the Iraqis? It's an observation. More than 80%. Do you have a, a survey for that? Yeah, yeah. because I, I, I did not, not survey, not, not exactly survey. Observation. But, but when you deal with the, with the Western people, you, you will find that they are not like us. And, and of course, because they are coming from different backgrounds. Background. But I'm saying... That you say we because you had a personal observation and long experience. About my, about my, ex, my experiment. I'm talking about my, my experiment. Do you mean your experience? Yeah. Okay. Now, is this experience generalizable to everyone who lived with you in not three for, countries? Not, not for everyone. No. Not true if I generalize for everyone. So, realistically speaking, can we say? I instead of we here. No problem. I said I. I had a hard time actually uh, getting rid of we to I when I was studying at the American University because the professor asked me every time, do you mean it's something that you have calculated data about? You know, in modern life, we always use numbers because numbers don't lie to make a statement. So if this observation is based on personal noticing and experience, that cannot be generalizable. It's just personal opinion. But sometimes people forget that the opinion is an opinion if it's not supported by facts coming from data. And to that extent that they get blinded by that to a point that they consider them as facts. And this is something that we always say, if you want to change somebody's opinion, think about how many people are required to change your opinion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is very difficult because some of our opinions have become facts. <clears throat> Can I change your opinion about the presence or absence of God? Mm -hmm. At this point, exactly no. What are something that you consider flexible to change your opinion about? Everything, every, everything except the, the relationship between me and my, my God. Do you consider Jesus as a prophet or as a God? A prophet. A prophet, of course. Okay. Let's imagine that you're talking to a Christian person who considers... Yeah, according to his opinion, that Jesus is a God, and this opinion has transformed to be a fact. What would you do about that? It depends. If you have, if you have time, then if it depends upon time, uh, the relationship between you and him, the uh, level of education. Of edu if he educated man or he's just symbolized or civilized, it's, it's, it depends. And we must uh, uh... <clears throat> um, yeah, I, I, I totally see where you're coming from with this kind of statement and considering the facts of the matter uh, before you create any sort of statement as a response in this argument that you're saying. But we have to understand that we live in a world that has a wide spectrum of ethnicities. Mm -hmm. 
like Christians, uh, Jews, Sapis, Chaldeans, um, you name it. You know, we have so many ethnicities. And a lot of these ethnicities were in Iraq, in Mesopotamia before Arabs, you know, take over. So historically speaking, it's really hard to navigate this matter without being very well educated, not civilized. Uh, the word civilized is... Uh, is uh, it, well, if, if we, I mean, what's the opposite? Let me ask you this. I'm, I'm opening this debate for you to think. Because I think the ability to think for a human being is one of the miracles of God. Uh, some animals don't think, but people think. And the process of thinking will create and transform your experience in life. Um, what's the opposite of old? New. Okay. What's the opposite? Akis can met old. New. What do you think? Yeah. Mm? Modern. Mm. So if I'm saying this building is old, what's the opposite of it? Are you sure? I'm waiting for your response. Let me say it in, in Don't in say it in Arabic. Language. Please, please. I understand what I understand where you're coming from because you have this beautiful urge to say it in Arabic. But let's leave Arabic aside. I'm trying to push you to process ideas in English because that is going to create the fusion between your thoughts and emotions and language. If you to to be honest with you, I asked my friends this questions maybe twenty years ago. Same questions, but it was about colors. I said for them, I asked them, what is the opposite color for the white? They are said black. black. Mm. And I said, who said that? Mm. Maybe the yellow, maybe the red color, or mm. maybe the purple color. It depends. Let, let us put it based on what you said, as a sentence in English. Mm -hmm. I want you to negate this sentence. He is old. He is old. What's he the... is young. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you said he... Old, old, said before, that that age, age, age. Saying old. negate. Negate yani infi. Mm -hmm. What's... You infi. Are about person? No. I said, let's build on what you said. This is broken. This is this old. Old. No, no. A, a sentence. He is old. <coughs> How do you negate the sentence? He is old. He's not old. Good. So this building is old. This building is not old. Mm -hmm. He is old. He is not old. Not he is young. Mm -hmm. So the opposite of old is not old, not new. That's for sure. And some some words uh, maybe uh, take on for uh, this before the start. Like That's the, different. Mm. Um, when we when we speak English, every word you make kul tarir fil bina huwa tarir fil mana. So if I'm saying. Um, so give me an example. Give me an example of what you said. Unfortunate. I'll give you a simpler version because I need everyone to understand where we are coming from. Um, if I say this is impossible, and if I say this is not possible, impossible, you cannot judge based on half finished idea. Uh, you don't have to be sorry. 
You have to be a good listener. Um, if good morning. If I'm saying this is impossible and this is not possible, is there any difference? This is just for you to think. As I said, thinking is a is a a divine miracle of God, giving you the chance to think. Impossible, uh, Jawad, listen carefully to what I said, please. Did Did you hear what I did? You, did you hear or listen to what I said? To be honest with you, I'm thinking in another other dimension. I know you're you're a three D person, so <laughs> okay. Uh, is this how you approach me, saying saying it with a wide smile? You know, okay, I understand that. So did he send the fact or no? Michael. Let's not get derailed. Derailed, yani, let's not 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 in shit. Mumkin, mumkin, V E E R, V E R, mumkin. If what's the what's the difference? My question is, what's the difference? between this is not possible and this is impossible. Or, he is, let, let, let's stick to it and I'll give you another example. This is not possible and this is impossible. What is the difference here? Because I said, كل تغيير في البناء هو تغيير في المعنى. Sometimes you say to things, this is impossible, like, there is no other God but God. This is impossible. Impossible. Me, one percent, one uh, hundred percent, not uh, okay of this matter. How about the other one? How about the uh, other one? Uh, maybe uh, 80, uh, 80 percent um, uh, impossible. So if I, yes, sorry. you'd have to be sorry. Yes, uh, if we compare between impossible and not possible, I think that on uh, impossible, there is uh, no way to do mm. something like, uh, uh, if I say, uh, there is no way to do that things. Mm -hmm. But uh, not possible, there is a probably to achieve these things if you want. Um, more time. Bravo. So the idea is that <laughs> if we... If we are saying, if we are saying this is not possible today, there is a chance that it's going to be possible tomorrow because yes. not is negating yes. the idea. But if, I, if we are saying this is impossible, it's permanent, it's factual mm. because it, it became part of the word. Mm. It's not, it's impossible. That's impossible. Mm. So it is completely impossible. There is no way that is going to be possible. Let's say you're working, you're working on uh, in the HR department and you say, can I get a bonus of $20,000 this month? And you say, this is impossible. But if I say, uh, is there a chance of getting 1,000 dinners bonus tomorrow, mm -hmm. if you're saying this is not, this is not possible to, today, but maybe with the process of time next, it's going to be possible. So the idea is that negating something and finding something by default as negation, there's a huge... Good morning. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Please have a seat. All right, so uh, what we are doing, what we are doing, we're just discussing some, some sort of a matter that is really controversial, you know, in, in a way or another. Now, let, let me be clear. Everyone has taken the test except for Jeanne, Mayan, 
Menal. Okay, so you three have three separate sheets of papers. I would like to ask you to take the test. Um, to take the test and pass me the papers. After the test, we will do a personal interview uh, for five to ten minutes with each. And this is going to be the final test that we do. On Sunday, I would like to ask you to come to receive your certificates of attendance. And then if you like, we can create a small party, you know, to celebrate. Uh, I'll, uh, um, I'll, I'll try to bring some cookies, but I, I don't recommend you eat the cookies. You eat something like fruits. You know, I think you go to gym, so it's not going to be helpful to you. You eat everything. Okay, well, suit yourself. Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about impossible and possible. Oh. When you're out, when you're out, when you're out, we are talking about this stuff. <laughs> Most of my uh, Christian friends, when they travel out of Iraq to uh, European states or for America, mm. and they uh, marry and uh, have, uh, have children, when I ask them uh, after 10 years or more, uh, what about your, the language of uh, speech of your children? They told me, most of them, they told me uh, they have uh, four uh, languages for their children. Mm. <laughs> the uh, the uh, mother language is the Christian, Christian language, mm. and the English language, and the uh, Arabic language, mm. uh, English and Arabic, and uh, Christian. Three, three languages learn their uh, children mm. uh, and uh, they uh, and they uh, very well uh, talking about uh, this uh, uh, grammar of these uh, languages their children mm. but I think uh, like Mr. Joel. Mr. Joad has um has, you speak three languages, do you? Um, we always tap on, tap on means depend on or derive information from our experience. And our experience sometimes uh, get tricky because, as I said, we need to dissect and separate between opinions and facts. Sometimes we migrate opinions to become facts. And this makes us really stubborn when we debate. You have to be always flexible with the facts of what you're saying. Like, let's say, men and um, a woman. Let, let, let's think of a story. A woman without her man is nothing. What do you think about this? Not, not all Strong woman. Can... Manal, what do you think of this statement? A woman without her man is nothing. And by exam. Huh? And by exam. It has nothing to do with your exam. I'm asking for your opinion about something. Mm -hmm. Jean, mm -hmm. a woman without her man is nothing. Do you agree or disagree? With, without, what? without her man is nothing. Yes. Yes. You... yes, she is. She is nothing. <laughs> How many agree with this statement? But you got to be very smartly and intelligently listening to what I say. A woman without her man is nothing. Do you agree or disagree? If you agree, raise your hand. A woman without her man is nothing. Hey, 
Do you agree with how many of you say a woman without her man is nothing? You disagree. Disagree. Are you neutral? Like. <laughs> Yeah, there, there is uh, many, many reasons. There are. There are many reasons. Okay, what reasons do you have? Maybe her uh, man uh, dead, uh, and she will find uh, Raise your voice if if you don't mind. Uh, maybe her uh, her man uh, dead. Hmm. Why do you think a woman without her man is not is nothing is completely disagreeing with your principles? ليش تعتقدين أنه المرأة بدون زوجها لا شيء هو شيء مناقض لمبادئك؟ Now let's. I, I'm trying to translate so you understand and respond in English, not because I want you to speak Arabic. I know some of you have this sort of, you know, instinctual tendency. <laughs> okay, so when you say maybe, is this an opinion or a fact? No, no, no! I'm not. I'm not judging you, uh, sir. I want. I want somebody to disagree with me, because I want to understand your point of view. Do your test. Do your test. <laughs> Don't worry. You you are absent. So this is your. Okay. This is your time to take the test. Don't waste my time. Just finish the test and then join us. You're not supposed to talk right now because you were absent last time. This is your punishment. Your punishment day. Right, Mr. Jawad? Uh, I'm, I'm, not the, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not the judge. I'm just your friend. You said maybe. Is this an opinion or a fact? Not. Oh my God! Okay, so if it's a fact, how do you prove it? Yes, uh, not all of uh, women uh, is the same state or uh, or the same personality. Mm. The weak woman um, maybe uh, uh, be nothing after absence of her uh, abs uh, her uh, husband or her brother or mm. her father. But the uh, strong woman uh, not need uh, or not uh, weak or give up. Listen, <clears throat> you three, a woman, how many of you say a woman without her man is nothing? You said, I disagree, right? <laughs> Neutral, Switzerland. I disagree with you. Okay, to say. You three agree that a woman without her man is nothing. I want you to think of five reasons for that. You know. for, uh, for, uh, for sake of debate, yeah. mm -hmm. I want to help you understand that sometimes you have to defend something that you are not advocating for. Advocating, sometimes you have to defend Something that you are not advocating for. Like I'm an honest man and I go to a post as a politician. And Mr. A, who lives in Jadria, is a big block, party block, Mr. A. And he shows me that if I'm not advocating for his philosophy of some sort of X, I'm going to be depositioned. So I have to, you know, agree, but not advocate. You three say a woman without her man is nothing. Give me five reasons. I'll give you five minutes to think. The purpose of this discussion is debating. Debating and arguing are not the same. Arguing has negative meaning and connotation. We use it because we mentally think 
in dictionary jidal niqash huma muradif li argument but that's not the case if you are arguing you fight with your wife but you are debating in a discussion what people have different sort of you know ideas that they want to share you advocate for the fact that a woman without her man is nothing is baseless groundless not true give me five reasons for that i want to write her to write five reasons jawad write five reasons after you discuss and listen carefully to what your friends are saying you have the freedom no you four you four you four uh, write five reasons and assign a writer assign a writer to write them clear let's get started he noticed that the woman said well he wrote that and he asked everyone to punctuate it yaqumuha aw isawun punctuation tanqid women wrote you you want to say something women wrote a woman without her man is nothing Mm. So after the verbs, the man Men, on the other hand, punctuated as a woman without her man is nothing. So sometimes we need to think more. Sometimes we have to think more. A woman without her man is nothing. In reverse. We usually have this experiment when our wives, for example, travel to Okay, we'll talk about it. You know the word alligator means crocodile. So there was a woman named Abigail um, who was in love with a man named Gregory. Was in love? Was in love. Was in love. Gregory broke his glasses and was not able to see anything. He lived on one side of the river. Um, the river which separated the two lovers uh, was full of crocodiles. Abigail wanted to cross the river to fix the glasses for Gregory and bring them back to him so he can see her and see her beautiful face. Unfortunately, the bridge was destroyed in a war. So she went to ask Sinbad. 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 Uh, he's a boat captain. A, a, a boat captain. To take her across the river. Now listen carefully. So we have Sinbad, Gregory, and Abigail. He said he would be happy if she kisses him. Say it again, please. Sinbad said he would be happy to take her across the river if she kisses him. Mm -hmm. He said he would be glad if she accepts to kiss him before he goes to fix, to take her to cross the river to mm -hmm. uh, bring her back to Gregory. She refused and went to her friend, Ivan. So we have Abigail. Gregory, Sinbad, and Ivan. Ivan said, uh, this is not my business. 
if you want to kiss Sinbad or not, this is your business. This is not my business. I'm your friend, but I cannot say anything in this. Okay. So she couldn't find any solution. And if she goes back to Gregory, he's, he's going to be blind. He's not going to see anything. So she agreed. Mm-hmm. Sinbad kissed her and take her across the river and brought her back. She told Grigory, Grigory became angry and he, um, he broke up with her. Fossil, I know. She went, she was crying and sad uh, because she sacrificed for him, you know? Uh, and he returned her favor with breaking up. So she went to another friend. His name is Slug. Slug. S-L-U-G. It's a name of a person, okay? Slug uh, became so angry and he went to Gregory and beat him. Punched him in the face. When Abigail saw Gregory, she was very happy because he was beaten. Now the story is this. Who is the good person and who is the bad person? Now, I want you to... There are five people in this story. Okay? I want you to choose to write... You see this? You write a number... One is the best person mm. in the story. The one. one is the best person in the story. Okay. Five is the worst person in the story. He's like, he or she mm. is really bad person. Yeah. Number one is a good person, good. according best. to you. Worst. But don't don't put one, two, three, four, five. Because this is not going to happen like that. Like if you go to Sinbad and you think he's number one, don't put them one, two, three, four, five. Ranking. Maybe last one is number one. But it should be everyone individually. Don't look at your friends. Okay? You have some time to read the story again and put your final decision. Yes. A minute or two minutes. Two minutes. Can I put the uh, crocodile? No. Uh, doctor, you told us that uh, we should put the number. Just number. Instead of number. Just numbers. Just number? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you think Abigail is the best, you put number one. If you think she is the worst because she kissed someone, you put five. So five is bad, number one is good. Two, three, four are in the middle. Mm. Oh, I'll just punish him. You know? Why Why do you think Slug is number one? Uh, because <laughs> He's doing degge. I shall hear you know. B-I-T-E-I-B-E-A-T. Mm. So, Ivan, the second one. Uh, no, um, I, I don't care who's second. I care more why you chose this one as number one. Give me a reason. So you feel happy that he hit uh, Grigory. Yes. But Grigory is just a person who has no glasses and then... He's a weak man. Because he left her. After what uh, she doing, he left her. But he, she deserves that, right? For him. Mr. Jawad, coming to you. Which one is number one to you and number five? Uh, number one is Ivan. 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 Ivan is number one. Why do you think Ivan is number one? Because uh, uh, he refused to, to help her friend. 
And he, he said, this is not my business. This is you. Is, does that qualify him to be number one? Number one is the best person. Mm. Mm. I think you got confused here. Yes. Which one is number five? Simba. Why do you think Simba is number five? Because he used, his, uh, he used her, uh, her need for, uh, for across the road. The yeah, well, she doesn't road. have to go to Sinbad. She can wait. But he, he, was the, he was the only method to mm. cross the river. Do, do you think what you say is enough for people to believe that he deserves to be number five? It depends. Can you, can you give us more content um, about why you chose Sinbad as, as this person? I chose Sinbad here because he exactly uh, like the uh, role of Shylock in Merchant of Venice. Sherlock. 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 Okay. He was uh, a meme. Oh, not Sherlock. Shylock. Shylock. Yes. Shylock. Sherlock Holmes is, is another character. Yes, detective. Mm. detective. Mm. Uh, he was mean here mm. in this story because he was sterile. Uh, he used the the need of this mm. uh, this lady, this young lady, uh, to uh, to crossing her the the river. Mm. Interesting. Thank you, um, sir. Um, I think Abigail uh, number five. Number five is Abigail. Uh, Interesting. Okay. Do you hear that, Antalar? He chose Abigail as number five. Why do you think Abigail is really bad here? Because he, she should to discuss this situation uh -huh. before she doing. Before she did what she did. Yeah. But yeah, how, who who is number one? George. Gregory. Gregory. Gregory is number one. Yeah. Okay, uh, sir, which one is number five? Sinbad. Sinbad is number five. Mm, interesting. So, you... mm. Okay, man. Number one is Ivan. 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 Why do you think Ivan is number one? Because uh, he is the, the best of this group of person. According, of person. according to you. Action. So it's your opinion. It's not a fact. I, I, uh, sure, sure. That's my opinion. Yeah. He is the best of this group uh, uh, for uh, by the group. Of, yeah, we have to discern. This exercise is to help you discern tfarraq, between facts and opinions. and opinions so when you defend you defend your opinion you don't defend the facts mm -hmm. because the scenario is interchangeable and changeable it can be different based on the person his background his religion his culture his education there are so many factors that interfere with this choice or that choice um, um, let's go to our translator. Uh, number one, uh, Gregory. Gregory is number one. Yeah. Why do you think Gregory is number one? I think that he lost the glasses. Mm. Glasses, sorry. And after that, he wanted to need uh, someone, mm. his assistance. Mm. Mm -hmm. But no one. Yeah, and someone beat him. Another one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> many, okay. Many, many cases that yeah, no one can uh, present any help to him. Uh, that is why uh, uh, the only person who uh, who is. Uh, I disagree with you. Who is number five? Who is number Sin five? Diva. Sinbad is number five. Neutral. And this is a Sinbad, I mean, is the key, is the key for problem solutions. No, 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 no,
Man, do you want to? Can you say that in English, please? I think uh, Abigail is the worst uh, character in this ba bad group of characters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Abigail. Abigail. Abigail, yeah. It is, uh, she is a bad woman. <laughs> I respect your opinion. Not honest for her, uh, for uh, her husband. Yeah. When she left, when he died. Mm. And uh, she... Uh, she cheated on, she cheated, cheated on him. Cheated him. Cheated on him. But uh, the the but the uh, good things she so, do it is different, uh, 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 a bit different. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But the best the best thing she do it uh, when she uh, we uh, we uh, when she was uh, honest with with uh, uh, her husband mm -hmm. uh, when she uh, told him about the truth. 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 Okay. It is very important uh, thing in this uh, story. Interesting. Well, thank you very much. On this note, uh, we cannot we cannot say for sure that our opinions are true one hundred percent. They might be true ninety nine point nine percent, but they are not one hundred percent truthful or true. And we have to always question our ability and listen more than we talk just to see what other people might say because what they might say might be valid in certain context now we are migrating to another territory which is very interesting i will uh, be starting can i ask you your opinion about the, the, uh, the first one or the, the first one? um it's really hard to give an opinion in this regard <laughs> because the way I um, I made the story is not to give my opinion, just to listen to your opinion in this kind of context. Now, um, what I will be doing, I'll be sitting here. Uh, I'll give you a break. I promise I'm not going to take much of your time anymore. Uh, I'll be having five minutes meeting with each one of you. So everybody else except the three beautiful ladies there can stay. Uh, somebody will sit here and I will sit here. And then we'll conduct a speaking interview. And it's going to be very simple. I just need to hear you talking about certain questions. And then you are free to go home. And then I'll be waiting for you on Sunday. Okay. Sounds good? Okay. Let's get started. Number one, uh, Ivan. 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 I keep saying yes. Ivan. Uh, Ivan is the best one of a group of, uh, uh, of bad uh, characters. Uh -huh. He is the best of uh, this group. Because uh, he is uh, naturally... Uh, neutral. 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 What, um, I have a question. What do you do for exercise? This exercise? No. No. Do you work out? Do you go to gym? Do you no. exercise? No, no. I don't have uh, enough time for do exercises. Uh, mm -hmm. I uh, go toward uh, fasting. No. <clears throat> I, maybe more than one uh, month I uh, am fasting. What do you do in your free time? What do you do in free time? Yes. Uh, check my uh, Facebook page and uh, my uh, contacts on WhatsApp mm -hmm. and uh, give them some. What's, um, what's your favorite food? Favorite food? I don't have uh, one kind uh, the favorite. Do you watch I love uh, movies types of food. Do you watch movies? Mm, Arabic movies only. Tell me more. Tell me more. Mm. Uh, 
uh, Arabic movies is the best for me because mm. uh, uh, its story uh, is the nearest to my life. Mm. Uh, but the uh, foreign uh, movies, uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, maybe uh, it appear uh, very good uh, uh, d directly. Direct directors, it, it, directors, mm. uh, but uh, the story is uh, either uh, imagine or mm. uh, fantasy. What time do you wake up in every day? Mm -hmm. it depend on the time of uh, morning prayer. Tell me more. Mm, uh, about five to five thirty a.m. Where do you live in Baghdad? I live uh, now in uh, Palestine, uh, Palestine city. Why did you say now? Did, uh, does that uh, mean uh, that you before, live? Before, before, uh, I was uh, live in a recent uh, house. A rent. Uh, a rent. Rented rent, house. Rent, rented house in Zayuna. Mm -hmm. And before that, a rented house in Al Ghadir. Mm -hmm. uh, you sound. And, uh, and uh, finally, I built my. Uh, own house. Alhamdulillah. Now yeah, you you made your sound. Um, I, I, I was tired mm. in, uh, ten years ago because uh, I uh, left my uh, parents' mm. home and because start yeah some problems uh, mm. with my uh, family mm. and, mm -hmm. and uh, rent. Uh, apartment, apartment mm. of my friend. He traveled out of Iraq, mm. and I uh, rent his apartment for uh, eight months, mm. and uh, return to another apartment when my daughter uh, start her, her first class in the school. Man, thank you very much. Do you have any other things to say? Uh, I. Uh, I think if you ask me uh, another uh, questions, I'm, I'm ready. I'm done with the questions. You can dis uh, discuss any uh, thing you decide. Uh, definitely, but I think um, we'll have a long list of people to go through. I've given you five minutes, which was enough. I am very happy with your answer. Okay. Thank you very much, and uh, hopefully I'll see you on Sunday. Thank you too. More than welcome, my dear. Thank you. Uh, please call Jawad. Jawad. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Hello, sir. Hey. Mr. Jawad, how are you? Thank you so much. Tell me about yourself. Well, the questions are just... What's your plans this year? To be honest with you, I have no plan. Maybe mm -hmm. I will... Uh, I will take my family, my children, to the north of Iraq for, for a few days. This is just my, in the next, next, next two months. Because I have a daughter. She has, uh, in, she, she's now in sixth grade mm. in the secondary school. And we know the uh, exam in Iraq is very hard. And the, all the family, mm. when, when the family uh, has a boy or a girl in this grade, in this class, the whole family will be confused about her future. Do you mean concerned? Concerned, yes. Or worried? Uh, worried about her future. Mm. And now, uh, so that I have no uh, plan uh, till now. Maybe after that, after the examination of my daughter, I will be uh, planning for... Uh, are you a planner or are you just no, go no, with the just, flow? Uh, I'm not a planner. Why? Uh, this is my measure. Did it work? Uh, it, it is work. Because uh, sometimes when you, when you plan something mm. uh, is, uh, and you, you, uh, you work, you are mm. effort mm. to, to achieve these plans, uh, maybe 40 or 30 percent it will achieve mm. otherwise not because we live in Iraq and we know the circumstances in Iraq always uh, uh, always 
is not in the same regular. Mm. We 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 know you you glance to to do something, and the circumstances maybe came in the opposite uh, way. I mean, the uh, political situation mm. has a bad influence uh, for all our uh, uh, all our lives. Tell me something uh, that you've gone through in your life that you're willing to not make your children go through. Say again, please. Tell me something yeah. uh, that you have gone through in, in your life, an experience or something that you don't want your children to repeat. I, I don't, I cannot answer this question. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I cannot imagine myself with, without my no, I mm. cannot imagine myself with, without uh, without family. Maybe if you ask me this questions twenty years ago mm. when I married at that time, I will I will answer you. Mm. Tell me something about your life that if time goes back you will change. To be honest with you, I'm satisfied with with, with my life. Now, in the past, I was very uh, not not religious man. Mm. But now um, I am consider myself a religious man. This is this is the the gap the mm. gap between now and uh, and before. Why did you switch? The human. This is the human being, a human being natural. Sir. Is it a growth? Or no, not at all. When you uh, read a more, when you read more things, or mm. uh, watch movies, or uh, get experience, uh, your brain will will be uh, uh, will be more raised from time to time. Mature. Mature, yeah. Mm. From time to time. So and maturation is the process of uh, enriching your mind with experiences or with stories. What was the turning point in your life? Is it an experience? It's a book? Is it something that you have done? Something I get it from here and there. From Tell me more. Uh, I, uh, I worked for the uh, Western uh, Company mm. in 2003 in the mm. south of Iraq in Imara. And they, are, uh, they, they were British. Mm. Uh, at that time, it was the change point of, of my life, mm. because before that, I was outside of Iraq. I was in Iran for mm. uh, eight years before the uh, Saddam regime collapsed. So I, I get the I get experiment of, from Iran mm. and came back to, to a new Iraq. Mm. And I uh, surprised when I saw Iraqis and the the thoughts, the level of thinking of them, and mm. the level of the, uh, the the level of living them, mm. to, standards of yeah, living. Yeah. Uh, exactly from that point, I worked for the uh, this Western company, and the the salary was very good at that time. Mm -hmm. the time, mm -hmm. the time is finished. Oh. Oh. At, at that time. Um, I, as I told you, my my salary was uh, was too high mm. if you compare it with the with the local people. From that time, I uh, I switched to the uh, government mm. job. I get the manager office of uh, governor in in Dika in Nasiriyah mm -hmm. in two thousand five. So I I lived my life. Uh, I lived my life after that. Uh, two, uh, 2009, I came here to, to Baghdad and worked for the uh, uh, presidency. Mm -hmm. This is a brief of, uh, of my life. Okay, brief timeline. Hey. Mr. Jawad, it was a pleasure to talk to you today. Thank you. Very Thank you. excited, actually. And I'm very impressed with the kind of skills and potentials that you have. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday, inshallah. Yes, inshallah. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Thank Please you. call Jodet. Yes. Close.
like that. What's your favorite food? But don't give me short answer. I love if you give me detailed <laughs> okay. answer, you know? Uh, yeah. I like uh, zolma <laughs> kebab. That's the default answer of 99% of Iraqis, probably including me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> but we love it, Lacha, I think. I'm the new one. Yeah, with ribs, you know? Mm. With ribs. Ribs. Um, with ribs. ribs. Mm. Okay. Do you enjoy watching movies? Uh, yes, I uh, would. Uh, Tell like, me more. Uh, um, I like uh, action movies. Why do you like action movies? Yeah, uh, and. Uh, because your uh, life is comedy, action? Uh, and a comedy uh, movie. Does it have any connection with your life? Action? Um. Do you live calm or action life? I love action life, yes. Why do you live action life? Um, maybe because I, uh, my, my husband, uh, always uh, he work out of Baghdad. Where does he work? Uh, in Mosul and in Erbil. What's his work? It's all uh, work uh, engineering. He is an engineer. An engineer, mm. like me. Um, so uh, uh, everything in the in my house at my house uh, I do it everything mm. uh, everything related with the, my family I do it therefore my uh, my life is uh, uh, co action. contain an action yes <laughs> what time do you wake up in the morning and what kind of things do you do when you wake up uh, I wake up at uh, six o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, the first thing I uh, do it, mm. I take my uh, my phone and look if uh, anybody for notifications. <laughs> it says for me uh, a message or a text like this, and then I wake up. What time do you wake up? Uh, at six a.m. <clears throat> um, what's your favorite color and why? Um, my favorite color is green. color. Hmm? Color, it's color, green. 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 Is that why you wear dark green? <laughs> is it? Is it? What color is this? Uh, I'm bad with colors. Um, it is a dark green. Mm, okay. Do you cook? Yes. What do you cook? Tell me something you cook, but you don't like. Mm, ah, I see that. Okay. <laughs> Do you like to dance? <laughs> yes, I like it. <laughs> what do you do for exercise? What I do for exercise? Exercise. Uh, exercise, you mean? Gym, sport. Gym. Mm. Mm. Uh, um, uh, aerobics. Aerobics, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cardio. Do you do cardio? cardio? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite book? My favorite uh, book is uh, Al Amir for Niccolo Machiavelli. Mm. Yes. Hopefully, you are not going to be the next dictator. I can't understand. It's written for dictators and leaders mm. who just want to stay in power. Mm, yes, I read it when I. Uh, my uh, age, my uh, my age is uh, fourteen years old. Do you practice it at work? Uh, or part of it? You mean connect with my work? Mm, mm -hmm. Maybe interesting. <laughs> What's your work now in uh, the presidency? Uh, I um. Uh, you can say I watch. I watch. I watch. Monitor. I observe. Watch, uh, maintenance of uh, uh, um, potential places. Potential. Yes. Presidential. 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 Presidential places. Mm. Mm, yes. Okay. Mm. Do you have any favorite singers? Or artists? Singer or artist? Uh, yes, I like uh, Tom Cruise mm. Mm. and uh, Angelina Jolie. 
Mm. Well, thank you very much. Mm. I do appreciate it. Mm. Uh, please call Jodet. Jodet? Mm-hmm.